Now it's time to start taking a look at the WebRTC APIs. The first one is Get User Media. What we want to achieve right now is that after the user enters a room name and click Go, the application can get access to the media devices and show such streams in the web page. Let's start by creating an onclick band on the Go button. So we're going to use the reference button Go Room and we're going to select the onclick event. On the onclick, we're going to set it to uh, anonymous function. We're going to add a little bit of uh, validating here just to make sure that there's a valid a room number or room name. And we're going to, s to show a simple alert. Please type a room name. Okay. If everything goes right, then in here, uh, right now, we're simply going to hide uh, the. Con well, we're going to display the consulting room. But before, we're going to hide the select room. And here we're going to put display none. Okay, so now all we need to do is to call the get user media inside the else clause. Okay, we're going to put the navigator media devices, and then we're going to call get user media. In here, we're going to add the stream constraints, which is the one that we defined before. And uh, the get user media will return a promise. So we need to handle the promise accordingly. To do so, we're going to add the then. And in here, we're going to also use a anonymous function that will receive a parameter. This parameter is going to be the stream. We're going to set the local stream to the parameter that, that we're, we are receiving. And we're also going to set the source object attribute to the stream. Okay. Um, we also need to handle the catch in case anything goes wrong. We're also going to use an anonymous function and we simply are going to show a message that an error occurred. Okay. And now let's run the app. We're going to move to a terminal and run the application. We're going to move to the browser. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to put the name where we're to see training. You see that we see the prompt to grant access, we're going to allow. And there we have the stream. Okay, as we, we have set the stream to a global variable, so we can take a look at how it looks. Here we can put the name, local video, and we can see that we have the, the video element and all the parameters that it has. Looking for the SRC. Here it is. We have a media stream that we can also see by putting the local stream variable. We can see it's the same. Okay. Okay. So now we have the local stream 
we need to be able to transmit it. But before to do that, we need to know where to find the other peer. To do so, we must set up our signaling server. So when you're ready, move to the next lesson.